Hello there, my name is Ismos, and today I want to show you a quick breakdown of how I made uh, this beach scene in Blender. Uh, but uh, tomorrow I'll be posting a full breakdown of uh, the process from start to finish, how I made the water, uh, the sand, and uh, everything else, plus uh, these waves here. Uh, yeah, but uh, you can get the project file on my new website uh, called uh, Blender and Beyond. I'll be posting all of my projects uh, here and also some free softwares and add-ons uh, for Blender uh, that I'll be making in the future. Uh, so you just have to go to this page and uh, it, you can get any of the models or projects I've been working on. Yes, yeah, so for a quick breakdown, uh, you see that uh, if you watch the time-lapse, which I'll be posting hopefully tomorrow, you see that I'm using a lot of the botanical add-on uh, because uh, it has a lot of great assets. Uh, a link uh, where, to where you can get uh, the botanical add-on uh, is going to be in the description. Let me just show you some of uh, the things that are in there. You can see it comes with a lot of assets, uh, a lot of trees, a lot of plants. And uh, for this scene, I used a lot of the tropical uh, assets uh, that you see here. So you can see some of the trees. Uh, they are very well detailed trees uh, with uh, some nice textures and everything. Uh, um, you can get the full uh, botanical I think it's, uh, yeah, it's this, yeah, this here. I'll be leaving a link in the description if you want to get uh, the add-on itself. Yeah, so let's, let me show you some of the quick breakdowns uh, that I'm working on. Yeah, so for the, for the webs here, what I did was I separated the water uh, from, let me just get these. I separated the water from the waves. Uh, for the waves, I just created a piece, a mesh like this, and uh, gave it a noise texture. Just gave it a noise texture that I animated moving forward. You'll see the entire breakdown in the time lapse of video. But uh, yeah, so that's a very simple, it's a simple texture that is moving from this side out to this side. And uh, to make it, follow uh, the contours of the beach. What I did is uh, parented or deformed uh, the mesh here using a curved object. So let me hide this for a second so you can see I moved. I'm using a curved deformer to deform the mesh here and uh, that makes it seem like the waves are following the shape of the beach like that. Uh, everything else is quite simple and explanatory uh, for the sand here. I, I added some rocks using the particle system and I also just mixed uh, for the sand texture. I just mixed uh, some of the uh, textures, some simple textures here. Let me just show you what these are. Just basic sand textures, nothing fancy. And I made a shader out of that. Uh, you can also get my asset library add-on uh, that uh, can help you uh, speed up your workflow. For example, if I want to reuse uh, this object, this uh, sand material, I just have to add it to my library. Uh, let me do call this sand and uh, just do a quick render of the sand and then I can add it into, into my library. And if I want to reuse it, I just have to go back. I think it's under walls and I find that sand material and uh, apply it to any object uh, that I want to apply it to. Yeah, so I'll be posting the entire time lapse tomorrow uh, if you want to watch that. Or if you want to get the project files, you can either become a Patreon and find them there or just go to my Blender and Beyond website and download uh, the project there. Thank you.